हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू पावर बी आई जीरो टू जीरो प्ले लिस्ट माय नेम इज संदीप रतूरी इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई टॉक अबाउट फील्ड्स पैरामीटर इन पावर बी आई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन पास द डायनेमिक वैल्यूज टू द कैलकुलेशन टू अचीव दिस वी विल यूज द नुमेरिक रेंज पैरामीटर फीचर इन पावर बी आई फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू द डेमो हाउ नुमेरिक रेंज पैरामीटर वर्क and then we will implement it from scratch so first we will understand what is numeric range parameter numeric range parameter help us to pass the dynamic values to the calculation this feature allows user to dynamically input values that can be used in dax calculations or to filter data enabling flexible and interactive reporting as you can see that this is the employee data set where we have employee details along with their salaries we also have a bonus percentage slicer and whatever percentage value we select in that slicer is passed to the bonus measure calculation enabling us to calculate the employee bonuses accordingly the default percentage is 5% and based on that you can see the bonus now i am changing the bonus percentage and you can see that the bonus measure values change according to the selected percentage so for an example so here i select 7 percentage bonus so now you can see here for employee id 101 total salary is 80000 and 7% of 80000 is 5600 in same way you can see here for employee id 102 total salary is 60000 and 7% of 60000 is 4200 in same way if you increase the bonus percentage so let's suppose now bonus percentage is 8% so you can see here for employee id 101 8% of 80000 is 6400 i hope you got some idea how numeric range parameter works let's move to the practical now we will create a numeric range parameter so for that go to the modeling tab from new parameter drop down select the numeric range and here you can see the few options so one by one we will discuss all options so in first drop down what will your variable adjust so leave it as default numeric range because we are creating numeric range parameter after that provide the parameter name so we are creating this parameter for the bonus so provide the name bonus in data type drop down leave as default whole number and after that in minimum set the minimum percentage so we want to give 5% minimum bonus to the employees so set the minimum 5% and after that set the increment percentage so we are good with 1% so how it will work let's suppose you are changing the bonus from 5 to next bonus so it will come like this 5 6 7 8 because here we set the increment 1 so it's totally up to you so let's suppose here you set the increment 5 so how it will work 5 10 15 20 okay so here we are good with 1% increment and set the maximum percentage so here you can set the 15 as a maximum percentage and in default you can set the 5% and after that ensure that this checkbox is selected because it will add the numeric range parameter in the report page after that click on create so here you can see numeric range parameter has been created for the bonus by press and hold the slicer and you can move little bit up like this and when you move the slider you can see the percentage increase from 6 7 8 up to 15% and minimum percent is 5% and now you can see the numeric range parameter column and measure so whenever you create numeric range parameter by default one measure has created so you can see here bonus value and if you want to see the 
code for the numeric range parameter so just click on bonus column and here you can see the code so power bi used generate series dex to generate the numbers between 5 to 15 because we set the minimum bonus is 5 percent and maximum is 15 percent and in increment we set the one and now i will show you the default numeric range parameter measure code so click on bonus value this is the dex code for the bonus value and here you can see the selected value and in second parameter if you remember we set the default percentage for the bonus is 5 so what this dex will does so whatever value you will select from numeric range parameter so this dex will store that value and later on we can use that value in any dex calculation so now we will create one measure for to calculate the employees bonus so for that right click on the employees data set click on new measure provide the measure name bonus first we will use some dex to calculate the total salary so here we will use some dex and pass the total salary column so this is just for an example we can use any column as needed so if you see here in our data set we have base salary but for an example i am just calculating the bonus based on total salary so it's totally up to you you can use any column to get the bonus so for my example i am using total salary and after that close the bracket then we will use multiply and open the bracket and here we will pass the bonus value measure and if you see here in numeric range slicer we are considering this value as in percentage so that's the reason we will divide bonus value by 100 and after that click on commit so now we are done with bonus measure and after that drag this measure into table visual now you can see here default bonus is 5% and based on 5% you can see the employees bonuses so just for an example for employee id 101 salary is 80,000 so 5% of 80,000 is 4,000 bonus for employee id 102 salary is 60,000 so 5% of 60,000 is 3000 and now i am changing the bonus so let's suppose i increase the bonus by 1% so i set the bonus 6% so here you can see the updated bonuses for the employees so for employee id 101 6% of 80000 is 4800 so you can see here to using the numeric range parameter you can pass the dynamic values to the any dex measure calculations now i will tell you how you can modify the existing numeric range parameter values so for that go to the numeric range parameter and click on bonus column and here you can see the code for numeric range parameter and if you remember we set the 5 as a minimum bonus percentage and for maximum we set the 15 percent and one is increment so let's suppose i want five percent increment so here you can set the five and click on commit and after that let me clear the existing values from slicer and now if you will move the slider so it will increase by five percent so you can see here this is the default five percent and one more time if you will move the slider so it will show you the 10 percent and once again if you will move the slider so it will directly show you the 15 percent and if you remember we set the maximum 15 percent now it is moving by five percent so in this way you can modify the existing numeric range parameter i hope you got some clarity on how numeric range parameter work that's all for this video if you liked it please like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more content thank you